Welcome back to my channel. I know this intro is a little bit different from the norm, but it's only because my intro and outro clips mysteriously deleted while I was importing the footage to my MacBook, so my apologies for that. But today's video is going to be my August 2016 obsessions, which is basically like a roundup of the best of the best in beauty and lifestyle for the whole entire month of August. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a big like, and yeah, let's jump into my August obsessions. First and foremost, I have to include an item which I've absolutely been loving since day one. I don't think I mentioned it though in any obsessions video ever since I purchased it. And hang on a second. There's a car passing by. <laughs> it is no other than the Fitbit Ulta, which is one of Fitbit's newer activity trackers. I did a whole review and demo, which I'm going to link it down below in the description box. I feel like this fits my lifestyle. I like it because it's really slim. It's fashion forward friendly. You can change out the band. I love just mixing it with um, other bracelets. And you guys know I wear this thing all the time. It tracks how many steps you've taken throughout the day. It has the move reminders. You're able to get the uh, text and call notifications via Bluetooth with your phone. It's really just like an all-in-one. The only thing this is missing though is the heart rate monitor. I read somewhere that they had to kind of leave out the heart rate monitor to keep this the uh, actual device pretty slim and small, but it would have been nice if they had that. Fitbit just came out with a special edition of the Fitbit Ulta, which is now available in gold. Even though I love this one, I'm actually going to be swapping this out for the gold one. I already ordered it, so you guys will be seeing me rocking that. As for beauty products, and excuse the fact that this is going to be dirty, it's the Beauty Blender Nude. I finally picked up a new Beauty Blender. The ones I've had before I've been using the past couple months are not beauty blenders. It's been a good like year and a half since I actually purchased um, a beauty blender. It gives you a nice airbrush effect. It's just such a great product. I think this is like $20. It's definitely worth the $20 investment. I've been giving a lot of love to the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. This contains SPF 15 and it's also oil free. I'm in the shade 45 Sand Beige. I like it because it's lightweight. It doesn't feel like you have on a, a layer of foundation. It doesn't look cakey. It just looks like your skin but better. I have been going back to one of my holy grail primers which I'm going to be filming the um, ride or die tag. I was tagged by Miss Liz Hart here on YouTube. I'm actually going to film that tomorrow so keep an eye out for it. that video sometime this week. Hourglass, it's the Veil Mineral Primer. It just gives your skin just a nice, um, a nice smooth canvas to work with. I feel like it doesn't fill in the pores on my nose so I have to use some sort of silicone based primer. Other than that, any other place I put it, say on my forehead, um, right around this area, I still will put it on my nose but a silicone based primer does the job completely for me. It is pricey. I think this one is $18 for a very small container, but it does last you a very long time. I'm always really skeptical when it comes to brow products because many of you guys know I barely have any brow hairs at all. So I'm really, really particular when it comes to brow products just because a lot of the time, a lot of brow products just don't stick to my skin because it's literally like I'm just drawing it onto my skin and you guys know I have oily skin. But I've been absolutely loving this one from the brand Benefit. It's the Cub Brow. I'm in the shade 4, which is spot on my shade. It really reminds me of a brow gel from the brand Kaylin, which I did a review on. I think it was about a year ago. It has the same concept. At the top it has a little angled brush and then you just twist off the top and then you have the product which does look like it's you know just a little bit of product but a little does go a long way. Sales lady at Sephora she actually did a comparison between the Anastasia Dip Brow swatch of the Cabral next to each other. The colors were pretty much spot on but once she let the Cabral set and then she wiped it. The Anastasia Dip Brow just wiped off like it smeared off whereas the Cabral once it's set it's set in place. If you have really oily skin after like 9-10 hour workday your brows will wipe off because it has happened to me where even though I blotted and I applied more powder just at the end of the day my skin is super super oily and I just touched it and it did wipe off but if this were to stay on maybe for like five six hours 
it doesn't go anywhere. I don't like the little angled brush it comes with. I feel like you really have to spend time to draw in your brows, especially if you are brow browless, if, especially if you have sparse brow hairs. So I like to use the Anastasia, I'm not sure exactly which brow or which brush this is, but it's the one I use with my dip brow. I'm going to link it down below, but I like to use it with this. And I feel like it just makes all the difference. This moisturizer from the brand Murad, it's the oil control mattifier with SPF 15. You guys know I love my SPF because anything that protects from the sun, from sun damage, is an absolute must. Um, this is fairly pricey. I think it was like $40 and it's a small 1.7 ounce, 1.7 fluid ounce container. But a little does go a long way. So this does have a white consistency. It is also fairly thick. But the thing I love most about it is that once it absorbs into the skin, it helps mattify my oiliness, which is really, really nice, but it doesn't dry out my skin. Sometimes things that have the oil control mattifier, sometimes those things tend to dry out, especially like this little area right here in between my eyebrows. But with the Murad oil control mattifier, I don't have that problem. I've just been really, really loving it. I have two more products I wanted to mention. First one is going to a contour palette from the brand City Color Cosmetics. If you guys haven't heard of them, they're a cruelty-free brand. They're really affordable and I also have a coupon code in case you guys are interested which I'm going to link down below but I genuinely love this brand. I've been gravitating again to the City Color Contour Effects Palette too. This does have new packaging. So the older packaging is um, just cardboard, if you guys can see here and it has like a little diagram at the top but they gave this an upgrade which I think is really really nice so now you have like a full-size mirror you have here the contour bronzer and the highlight the thing I love the most here is the contour it has more of like a grayish kind of undertone to it which is great for contouring to create that shadow I'm wearing it to do last but not the least I have to mention a highlighter because you know we all love that glow we all love that highlight it is the Kathleen Lights Times Makeup Geek Highlighter Palette and this palette is super 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 gorgeous it is beautiful all of the highlighters in here are so creamy so buttery soft they blend in so seamlessly I'm wearing actually nightlight it doesn't have shimmer it gives more of like a I'm gonna use like Lizzie's expression like a lit from within look sometimes I'll go ahead and mix night light and sunlight together I haven't really gravitated too much to starlight but I'll mix these two together that's why I've been showing this palette a lot of love I've been wearing it on a daily I've been wearing it to work so that's everything I wanted to share with you guys for my August 2016 obsessions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to share what items you have been obsessed with for the whole entire month, please don't forget to leave it in the comment area down below. Also, don't forget to check out my previous video which I have linked up here on the screen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a big like, subscribe, and follow me on all my social media. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you!